Hey guys, so today I've got the full Pot of Greed collection from Konami. This was a special 25th anniversary product that you had to pre-order earlier this year in February, and it's finally come in the mail now. So we took the time to put them all together, and now I'm going to open these, I suppose these are quarter century secret rare Pot of Greeds and all the different variations of it, and see if we can match the card to the pot. So, all right, let's uh, get a nice close-up of, uh, of the pot here. Obviously, this is the Pot of Greed, but it's actually got the Spirit of the Pot of Greed. And you could technically put him in some of these, although, like, they have different shaped tops. So, like, I don't know how many of them he really fits in. Maybe a few. But, yeah. So, this is Pot of Greed. Let's open the cards. I've already made a little incision in them, just so that I don't damage them, although I'm so nervous doing it, I feel like I'm going to do it on accident anyway. Oh, man. Oh, they look beautiful. Okay, don't how's that them. look? Don't rub them against each other's backs. Is this, is this good focus? Yeah, you're good. Okay. All right, so first, Pot of Greed itself. You actually get two of these, I think. So, I think actually, I think they all come in this rarity, and then you get a quarter century one of Pot of Greed. So basically, you're getting two Pot of Greeds. All right. So, Pot of Greed, of course, goes with, uh, goes here. Awesome. I'm not even going to, like, set it down because I really don't want to. Um, I mean, I'll have to set it down, I guess. Pot of Generosity. Let's, uh, ooh. Okay, so here's Pot of Generosity. And its card. Okay, I just realized something, by the way. Uh, I'm not as nervous about these cards because they actually are kind of already bent just out of the package. I think it was just how they were probably manufactured. It'd be like that. So I, while I wanted to get these graded, we'll see if that actually comes to pass. You can get them bends out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, they're very like. Look at that, right? It came out of the package this way too. You guys saw me open it. Pot of avarice. Where are you? Nope. nope. Here you are. Pot of avarice. Um. Nice and uh, got the long tongue, the the Hitler stash. Nice. Very cool. Pot of generosity. This is always one of the um, one of the weirder. Wait, no, benevolence. This is benevolence. Yeah, pot of benevolence. What's this even do? Uh, target two cards in the graveyards and shuffle them into the decks. Okay, it's not even a quick play spell, Lord. It's a card. But detail on these is really nice, so it's awesome. Okay, next is Pot of Riches. Pot of Riches is actually always my favorite pot card, just because he's fat. Like it just—it's like all the other pots are like kind of the same shape, but he's just nice and wide. This was the Pendulum Pot card that never really got to take off, although it came out pretty early in the like Pendulum life cycle, and I think it had the potential to, but Pendulums just weren't very good at the time, and by the time they got good, this wasn't worth. Like, running. Still looks nice, though. I'd say. Cool. And next is Pot of Acquisitiveness. So I actually did not remember this card until I saw the pot itself. Target two banished monsters. Target three banished monsters. Shuffle all three into the deck. And draw one card. Yeah, certainly uh, one of the more... It's a card of one, one of the more niche pots, for sure. Okay, next is Pot of Duality, one of the uh, more famed pot cards. Still used even to this day, depending on the deck. Great for consistency, I would say. And of course, it's got one part Pot of Greed and one part Pot of, what is this, I guess? Is this one? Generosity. Yeah. Generosity. Wait, that's Benevolence. So he's part of general. Okay, yeah. I don't know my pots, if you guys can't tell. I'm not that good with them. Okay, next, Pot of Dichotomy. I actually remember this card being one of the ones that I, for a while, thought could be kind of useful. It never really saw much play either. But um, you have to use the start of main phase one. Target three monsters with different types in your grave. Shuffle all of them into the deck and draw two cards, and you also don't get to conduct your battle phase. For context, it didn't stop Paul from suggesting I run it. Maybe in some old deck. I don't know. Cool card, though. I did, too. 
Pot of Desires. Okay, this is a very fun, controversial pot. The pot that tested if your friends knew what card advantage was. Because people would always call this a Neg 9, I remember. It was just very, uh, that look good? You might want to get lower and, like, just shoot straight. My knees. Sorry, Alec. But, yeah. Pot of Desires. What do you guys think? Do you guys run Pot of Desires? Yay, nay? Neg 9. Give it a 2. Um, then there's Pot of Extravagance. If you run that 2, it's a Neg 18. Always a fun one as well. It's funny, when Pot of Extravagance came out, people didn't call it, like, a Neg 5 or whatever. But, um... Yeah, a spot of riches and pot of greed. Nice and fat on one side, regular on the other. Cool. You got them chubby cheeks. Almost done. Pot of prosperity. So this is the kind of new pot card. Some people want this thing banned. But I, for one, think it looks really cool. It's the most. Oh, his face came off. I had to put his face back on. Some of them, like, you, have to, you really have to put these things together. So, like, it's a bit of a... Well, it's canonically unbalanced. And process. Here is your spirit of the pot of greed. So, it's cool. It fits into the pot. It's cool they included this card. Although I noticed they did not include um, Avatar of the Pot, I believe is the name of the card, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's wearing the Speedo. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, he should have been a part of it, right? I don't know what his effect even is, but Awesome. Okay, next is Moray of Greed. Did not expect them to actually include this, but uh, you do get a Moray of Greed. And I guess you could technically kind of, because in its artwork, it's like coming out of a pot of greed, sort of underwater. So what I'm curious about is can you, oh, sorry, Alec. Uh, yeah, you could technically like, kind of like fit it where it's like coming out of the pot of greed. Yeah, turn on its side. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, what, like that? Yeah, so it looks like a picture. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. Awesome. And... Oh, okay, I'll hurry. And finally, we got Shard of Greed, where you literally just get the shard. You don't even get a stand or anything. Very cool. So, yeah, that's your look at the pot cards um, before our camera gets too hot and shuts off because we got all these lights and stuff in here. One last quick detail I wanted to show you guys... All the different faces of Pot of Greed that are like different parts of other cards have slightly different expressions. A fine detail I thought they added in there. It's just really cool, you know? Anyways, yeah, this is the Pot Collection. Um, I would say, I would say buy it, but you kind of had to already have pre-ordered it. So, yeah. Uh, awesome. Cool. Great. Fun. Hope you liked the video. Drop a like. Let me know if you picked this up for yourself as well. See you guys in the next one. Fast turn.